what you find across a, a lot of this catalog is that um, the chord progressions don't uh, get too dissimilar, you know, one song to the other. Um, but what the guys do to connect the chords, uh, little little figures that go in between the chords, are what makes uh, you know one song different than another, or the style of play, or the feel of it different than the other. So um, this can be uh, as simple as you know a two note uh, recurrent recurring thing. <laughs> So there in E, you just have. And, um, you know, it creates a hook, you know, dun, dun, ba, dun, that little ba, dun, every time. Now, because it's metal and, you know, guys started getting, you know, pretty ambitious. You'll have like that idea becomes, you know, blown out to the point where it's almost ridiculous. Uh, you know, something very complicated. You know, the trooper. You know, the chords keep changing. That little figure keeps happening. Um, so between this is what like the guys do with the rhythm parts in order to create variety when really you know what's going on has been something you know like this happened in like 10 different songs you know you've gone e minor c d e minor you know and then you've gone g a you know some some combination of of those chords in a minor key, uh, you know, have recurred in like millions of metal tunes. But what the guys are doing in between them in order to make it, you know, more interesting or uh, create more of a hook or create more of a rhythmic feel uh, is what makes the songs different than each other. So this is a really important concept for this. It, it, what you want to do is to be able to listen to the song and pick apart like, okay, what's the actual chord motion that's going on under there between all the craziness? And then, you know, then you can pick at what the, if you're trying to figure it out, you can pick at what, what are the connecting bits between the chords. So uh, let's look at a couple of examples um, just to get you more familiar with this concept. So our first example is uh, in E. Let's check it out. So there's just this little recurrence. Regardless if I'm playing the chords in, you know, blocks or as a gallop. Uh, now let's check out another one. So in in this example, uh, I'm using some percussive elements and a recurring riff uh, just to tie things together. So um, in in each of these cases, you know, you're creating a, you're creating a memorable element in the rhythm part. And um, it's also just connective tissue between the chords. So the chord progressions don't necessarily get that complicated one song to another. But it's on the guitar player to come up with these kinds of things that make the guitar part have that flair uh, that you hear across this catalog. So something to keep in mind.